What is up guys, this is Nick, we are back, and today we are going to be continuing the Ranger on PS4 today. So first of all, let's start off by popping open our rewards. So these are the rewards that we've gotten so far, the ultimate pre-order bonus, so we'll go ahead and collect that, as well as the beta reward. So we'll see what we get out of this, that's not what I meant to do. And so let's go ahead and pop these open. So we got the lollipop accessory box, I believe that'll put this into my... Um, pearl inventory and so these are just cosmetic i believe yeah just cosmetic related stuff but uh not bad for a free item so we can grab our ultimate pre-order bonus so the first pioneer in the title the first pioneer if you obtain this item which is nice uh the young fog in tier two this is something that we definitely need I named it waffles on xbox so let's name it uh so uh, it's it's I want to name it Shrek. He's gonna be Shrek on uh, on PlayStation here. So let's go ahead and register that. So that is our first pet. Uh, we got ourselves Shrek here. Hostility detection, and we should have gotten a little bit more. So we did get the Shoe Dad Classic set. I don't really like how this works. The more important thing that we got was the Ten Aliens tears, obviously, but uh, so that we can revive. But let's pop this open. I'll put it on just to show you, but not a huge fan of this set. It looks... It doesn't look terrible. I don't like the hat on, but uh, it's not my favorite thing. I really like the cape. I just don't like it from a front view. I don't know. It's just not my favorite. It's not my favorite uh, piece of gear. So I'm going to take it off. Actually, actually I want to put it on for the bonus... It's going to give me yeah, the 10% combat experience bonus. So all I got to do is toggle this off, toggle the crown off, and we'll leave the dagger and the bow on because those actually look pretty clean. So we're going to leave those on. Uh, we're still awaiting our pearls and some other stuff. There was a beta pet that we're waiting on i'll probably spend almost all of my pearls on pets like i discussed in the last episode so we're gonna get a little cutscene here so i'm gonna shut up cutscene number four i believe my friends there's no need to think of alchemy as something difficult alchemy begins with understanding the fundamental principles of all things everything exists based on what's happening Look, that staff is shaking. This device is supposed to react to black energy. My friends, don't panic. It is just a small amount of energy. By any chance, is there a stranger among us? A greater world. You have extraordinary strength. Welcome. You must be the one Captain Cliff spoke of. I see. You lost your memories, but have somehow managed to keep your sanity despite being engulfed by the darkness. This is most rare. Losing your memories may be a defense mechanism. Your mind's way of en enabling you to retain your sanity. You may even have been an adventurer before this dreadful incident took place. It seems destiny has quested you with the biggest adventure of all, an adventure to find your memories. You might even meet someone along the way that recognizes you, but before you go, it would be a good idea to rest. I recommend you seek out the village chief old igor does love a good adventure tale okay so i'm gonna go ahead and accept this we'll get him some well i'll get him some weasel tales i'm not sure i'll show me getting weasel tales it's pretty boring to watch not gonna lie so we did go up ahead and pick up another binder earring we did get this gold bar for 100k from completing that initial quest um which seems to be pretty much the uh, the normal there was a cutscene here it's not an important cutscene with this guy. Just kind of introducing you to the initial start. But if we come down here to the storage manager, we can cash this in for our 100k. So grab that. Currency exchange. Sell this for a 100k. So we have 104k now, which is nice because we're going to need it for... We're going to have to get pet food and all of that different stuff. See, like, that looks... I really like how it looks from the back, but then you kind of go to the front of the character, and it's kind of like, eh, It's like a big meh. Okay, so obviously there's not going to be anything up on the auction house, but we can see... Actually, you can't even look at anything yet. Interesting. Wow, that's weird. There's, like, nothing up on it at all. So I don't know if you can't list anything or if it's just... 
that's how it's going to show up. But I'm going to go ahead and progress, progress us to a point of uh, somewhere that we would actually want to be. I'll go get myself some... Um, get myself some pet food over here at the stable, which I guess I can show that real quick. If anybody did not know, you come over here to Stable Keeper, and in the shop there should be some cheap feed. So I'm gonna pick up how much? What's the? What can I pick up for that 100k? 33. Yeah, I could probably I could pick up a 34th, but I want to save a little bit of money, so we'll pick up 33 cheap feed so that we can feed our pets. But I will see you guys in just a second with uh, something far more interesting than me buying pet food. Some beetle wings, parasitic bee lava sauce, and let's see, drop. Imps tear, and then... Oh. oh, this happens every single time I try to make rouge. Oh, oh uh, welcome. All right, back-to-back cutscenes. Chief or Igor is my grandpa. Do we look alike? That's the problem. I think me and him are the only ones that have those nightmares. You brought my necklace. I'm guessing Tatros told you to send this to me. I experience nightmares frequently when I don't have this necklace. I should have been the one to get the necklace back from my grandmother. Thank you so much. Yes, you want to know more about my dreams. Oh, well, you see Iwa's hill over there. I always see these little spirits sobbing quietly to themselves. When I try to go and comfort them, something always seems to get in the way. Then these black spirits with beady red eyes would appear out of nowhere and chase after me. Hmm? Did you say that you want to head over to Iwa's Hill? That place is infested with goblins. It's too dangerous, but if you still th want to go to Iwa's Hill, I suggest you talk to Grusha first. Don't let his appearance fool you. He's actually very sensible and wise. Okay, so let's go ahead and head on over and see Grusha. All right, we are back, and it is time to kill some goblins. Went ahead and got to Grusha, talked to Grusha, and here we are. Because I'm doing no damage to this goblin. There we go. I don't know what that... I did, like, zero damage to that goblin. Okay, so we need to defeat 25 goblins. We also need to take a look at skills and see... I might not have enough skill points for it to be, like, viable to take a look at them, but we'll take a quick look after I kill Big Boy here. Alright. Eh, 14. We're gonna pick up Pinpoint. I think that's all that I'm gonna pick up for now. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna pick up now is Pinpoint. That's not bad. It's like a double tap... Definitely, definitely gonna need that going forward. It's a little, obviously it's a little weak, but overall not, not too bad. Everything feels weak right now. I'm used to my archer crossbow that like absolutely destroys everything. Which I, uh, that video finally came out earlier today for getting that character to level 56. I have to remember when I'm releasing videos. Because technically I'm recording this the day that this dropped on PS4. Let's go over here and talk and get this. I'm trying to grab as many side quests as I can. Because, obviously, I need as much money on this character as I can get. So, getting a gold bar worth 100k for free. Obviously is... Oh, this is Grush. I did a full circle? Shh. I, did, I didn't even know I did the full circle there. Okay, so you can't move out of that. No one... Okay, let's just fire those off. Destroy that. Get a, at least a little experience. Evasive shot. That's actually a pretty uh, good skill, the evasive shot. We got flow attacks. I need to just make sure... Is my pet not out? Ah, I didn't have my pet out. Okay. 
we'll take Shrek out. Get our first pet. Actually picking up stuff. We're missing some of the other stuff from the. We're missing a pet and some of the other pre-order stuff, which is all right. We will, uh, and we're missing our pearls for pre-order and stuff like that. Which I'm fine waiting for to a certain extent. I I need my pets. That's that's important. I really don't care about anything else in terms of rewards and whatnot, but I do care about my pets. Because those are pretty darn important. I don't know how much credit I'm getting for killing these, because I'm sure I'm doing less damage than the sword. Okay, get out of that. Select this quest so I can turn it in. Alright, let's run back over to Gresha. Good old Gresha. I think we're like a couple kills away from the boss. Alright, Gresha, I am back. I spent the day catching up Wait, how what? Goblins are up to. Oh, it wants me to... It took me to him, and then it wants me to go all the way over here. Alright. Having these frame rate issues, which is not good. I'm hoping they subside as people start to fan out. There's not a whole lot of servers, so I'll show that here in a second. Oh yeah, this is when Grush is in two places at once. Um, I'll show you if it'll let me change server. We only have five servers on PS4, which is a big old question mark. I don't get that. You're much stronger than I thought. You even managed to defeat our elite soldiers, but this is a far this is far from over. Us goblins will rise up again. Our chief will return. He's been laying low and building his strength. He might not be here now, but mark my words, he will return. And when that day comes, all you humans were finished, and Emma will become my goblin bride, and we will have many goblin children. Ha ha ha. No, this isn't right. Why did I say she would become my goblin, or she would be my goblin bride? Look, like me, all the goblins are in high spirits. In order for you to get rid of us, no, I mean the goblins, I mean to destroy their base, it won't be easy. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some knowledge from him. And yeah, we need to destroy one watchtower, two sculptures, and two cauldrons. So we're gonna pick up one of the watchtowers right here. Hello? Okay, there's one. Here's a cauldron. One cauldron down. Here's a sculpture over here. Let's see. Looks like I have this area all to myself, so I'm going to try to clean this up really quick here. Before anybody else shows up. I'm going to kill this goblin for the experience. We're about to hit level 16, which is beautiful. And there's the watchtower down. Kill that goblin. Okay, no one's rushing me. Let's turn this in. Hee hee hee, could you feel it? How, are, how we are so much stronger when we're together? Okay, do you feel that? Someone else is here. I think it's the Goblin Chief. I can feel it. He he he. Want me to summon it just like Red Nose? You better be ready. He's much stronger than the other goblins. Don't worry, you have me, so you should be fine. What worst that happens is you wind up dead. He 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 he. Alright. Kill myself a little bit of goblin thrower here. Just try to grab a little bit of experience as we trek over to the boss fight. I don't know. I really like the ranger, but man, the damage that the ranger does is he he is is a little bit of a meh. But I am assuming later on, once I get some better weapons, hoping once I kill our buddy Gaius here, that I will get some more. I'll get a better weapon. I'm just got. I'm, I'm kind of waiting for the ultimate steed weapon to pop up or ultimate steed, just or not ultimate, um, the special steed weapon, the one that's like sixteen twenty five or something like that. That one's pretty good for until like not mid game, but until the thirties, till you hit like level thirties, and so that that'll carry me until the the marketplace kind of stabilizes and I can buy a weapon and use my black stones on it. So that's what I'm hoping to do. Because obviously people are probably... I went and took a nap, so this isn't like right after I recorded the other one. I took a nap because getting up at 3 a.m. is awful. 
So I'm hoping that we get a little bit of stuff. So we have this expansion, and then we also have this binder necklace that gives us 8 accuracy. We also picked up two more gold bars. I don't believe I showed that. I'm going to pop this value pack just to use it and get that quest moving out of the way. I'm going to buy a 30-day value pack or whatever. So. so we'll go ahead and complete this. This will give us another value pack. So kind, kind of worth it. Get, yeah, it gives you a 7-day event value pack uh, in your pearl item. So that's that's nice. Okay, so let's see. Do we have enough to buy any skills? Kind of. We have enough for charging wind 2. I want to pick. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna pick that up, and then we'll save up. All right, let's fight Gaius. All right, buddy, let's dance. I am very scared about the damage that I'm gonna do here. I don't think it's gonna be good, but here we go. As soon as you're, I want to get some dagger damage off here right when he's hittable. He's gonna stand there for a second, get, get as much dagger defense or dagger damage off as I can. Ooh, that hit me. Get out of there. I did not want to get hit by that. I thought I would get that odd attack off in time. Not using my one attack as much anymore. Gotta remember to use this attack. Heal, make sure I don't die. I don't want to waste an alien's tear on this boss. Okay, heal, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get out! Dodge, dodge, dodge. We're so close, just kill him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. Gaieth is down. So, we did get... Uh, you saw the message pop up at the top of the screen. Should... Okay. Well, not quite yet. They did fix the issue where we didn't get everything, but I have not received that yet. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, so I will wait and uh, should pop up here any second now. I'm happy they, they got that figured out. Um, cause yeah, we were missing a bunch of stuff, but I'll see you guys in a second where we're at, uh, a little more action than just dialogue. All right, let's wrap up this episode in probably my least favorite spot. So we did pick up some new stuff. We got, uh, the Briar Gloves. I believe I showed the as well. Um, so I guess it's just the Briar Gloves and this Binder Ring. So we got some good accuracy going on now. Uh, but let's go ahead and use this Crone Scroll of Remembrance. I could actually talk through this because I don't think there are any dialogue. So, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. Not right here, but it, in this area. Once we finish Crone Castle, then we're finishing this this episode. Um, so, that is that. I wish they would have included a little bit of dialogue in that cutscene. I think it would have been, been a lot better. Now it's going to teleport us back down to our good friend. What's his face? That... Literally serves no purpose in this. I think I say this every time I do this section on video. He's literally the most useless character in this game. I, I don't get why he's in the game. He serves little to zero purpose. And that's just the way it is. Just the way it is. Alright, Beetle. I have to summon the Black Spirit. Pretty much just gonna skip all of this dialogue. Because I don't want to talk to Beetle. Hold on. There we go. Finding a way out. Okay, so now we need to... Let me collect the Black Spirit thing. Grab that. Okay, so now we need to secure an escape route by dealing with the Crone Castle forces. There, the, the levels from like 30 to 42, I really don't like those. But I will say that... Um, this little part here with Beetle is by far my least favorite part. It used to be worse when you had to kill specific enemies all the way through. That was the worst, but it's still pretty bad. Oh, 
my damage is some trash can. Slice that guy up. Let's kill the Operation Chief over here. These guys don't even good, give that good of experience. Like it's like three percent, which which at this point, which at this point is not very good. It's not terrible. I need to kill the guys that wield the bows, which is just these scouts. Looks like there's a scout over here in the corner. I got three of my five. I want to kill these guys before I go talk to Beetle because I think I can just turn this in. There's four of my five. Did I just get... Oh, yes, thank you. Scout over here. Clean him up. Hello, shoot. Okay, the scout is Zeus. Die, thank you. Okay, well, let's go turn these quests in. The beetle, get the heck out of Crone Castle. I think we still have a little bit more we have to do, but... Are you tired already? You you need to keep your head straight. This is only... Beetle, you're not even helping me. Phew, we still have a long way to go. There will be even more soldiers up ahead. Keep your head straight. The biggest hurdle is the one holding the sword. He's like a bull. Go up front. I'll follow behind. Yeah. Yeah, we know, Beetle, because you're a coward. And you hide while I kill everything for you. Wait. Can I turn in this other quest to you, Beetle? Beetle, you're the one that wanted me to take revenge on the guys that shot you in the ass, but I guess I guess I can't yet. Hopefully, I, hopefully I can turn it in at the end. Okay, there's two rookies. I need one senior and okay, there's the senior and I think there's the rookie. That's a scout actually. Okay, one more rookie. I will kill the scout because why not? Get that experience. Okay, so we need one more rookie. Should be nice and easy. There's a senior. Hopefully that guy will get distracted killing the senior, and I can kill this rookie. We can get ourselves out of here. There's the rookies down. Clean those guys up, and I'll let this guy kill the rest, because it's kind of hard in this area to find all the kills you need if there's a lot of people here. So I will clear out for that guy. Oh, right. So let's go down here, talk to good old Beetle. I think on the beta, I had a trouble. I had trouble with that quest because there were so many people in the area. I just couldn't get the kills that I needed. It was tragic. Lights this dude up. And down the hill we go. All right. So let's turn this quest in to Beetle, see if we can get anything good out of it. All right, so we got this one. Just gives us XP, which I'll take. That's fine. And then this one also gives us XP. I think that's a combat XP scroll and faster movement. So now we need to go meet Emma Valt Val Ugh. Emma Bartali back in Velia. So this is a good place to call it an episode because uh, this is kind of the end of this area. We'll go back to Velia, and then she's gonna send us all the way down here to the quarry. Uh, and so that's where we'll start the next episode, is at the quarry, um, so you guys don't have to see all the dialogue. I don't even think there's a cutscene or anything. If there is, I'll start the next video with that. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you have it. A little bit shorter of an episode, I guess. Um, still about 20-some minutes, but a little bit shorter of an episode than, uh, than normal, I guess. I guess the, not too much shorter, but a little bit shorter than usually these types of videos tend to be. Let me know if there's anything you would like to see for this other than the level guide that I'm putting out and this. I thought about doing a noobs guide and a couple of other different things, but uh, just taking suggestions at this point because the level guide's only going to take four videos, eight days to get that done, not too long. And so uh, if anybody has any other suggestions for a video to replace that, let me know. Peace! Cause when it's all over